Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am going to go into some clips. So I don't have a lot of stuff. It looks like a lot of stuff all over my counter, but it's really not a ton of stuff. And I'm gonna show you why, because I am trying to clean out my freezer, my refrigerator. So I'm gonna go into some clips now of me showing you what I'm trying to use up and then we will come back to the grocery haul and I will show you my refrigerator after I get everything all put into it. Okay you guys, so I'm gonna be shopping my freezers and refrigerator also before I go grocery shopping. So I wanna kinda of show you what I'm working with and why you'll see I'm not gonna have a lot of certain things in my grocery haul. So for one thing, I do have two pounds of ground beef, so I'm gonna be kicking up like three pounds. So I do like to keep about five pounds in here. Of course, this is not all keto because I am the only keto person in my house. I have some ground turkey I didn't know about. There's my onions I've been looking for. I think I have two things of broccoli right there. That's getting close to questionable. Um, I have a ton of rice cauliflower. I picked this up not too long ago at Costco. I have a ton of frozen dinners. I've been buying those for my for the kids because that's what they like. I have some chicken wings I didn't know about. I have a whole chicken I didn't know about. Oh my goodness, you guys. And then there's chicken in here. So I'm think I still have a whole chicken and chicken wings. I think I'm gonna do some of that stuff for lunches. So then I've got you know guys know I went to Costco not too long ago and I picked up the chicken breast. So I still have quite a few in here, and I think I have some in my the kitchen refrigerator too and then I have all of this chicken um some pork some of these are pork chops actually now that I look these are all this is all pork chops right here I do have one thing of bacon I'm going to pick up one more because we are having breakfast for dinner one night so I do like to have extra bacon for that. so that's what my freezer looks like. The kitchen freezer I have, I still have, I have a little bit of the Tyson. I was going to do Costco this week, but I think I'm going to wait till next week. Um, but I have some of the rice cauliflower medley. And then I have green beans, which I really want this week. More broccoli. I have riced broccoli. This is some marinara. This is that Thrive Market marinara I had caved over. Um, here, what do we got? I have a Quest pizza. I have one package of chicken thighs left, it looks like. Oh, and I have one in the refrigerator too. I have some taco meat. This is the taco ground turkey sausage, which I'm having taco salads this week, so I think I might do that for that. And I have more chicken breasts. Turkey burgers, one package of those sausages left I get at Costco. Here, this is my refrigerator before. I'll take an after shot after I put groceries in it, okay? Um, let's see what we got in here. So I still have my, I have these, uh, the Teton um, hot dogs that I have not tried. I have a whole package of pepperoni I have not opened. I don't think I've opened the salami either. No, I have not. And then I think all that's lunch meat for the family. I have a lot of sliced cheese, so we're good there. Um, I'll need to get some more shredded cheese. I have a one full thing of cream cheese and a little bit here. I know I need some for a recipe, so I'm gonna get more. I need more blue cheese crumbles. I've been loving that on salads. My cheese stick, I need to get more of those. Um, so I do have some chicken thighs. I'll need to cook that this weekend because I already took them out. I think I have one package of white eggs and one package of happy eggs back there. So I'll need to get more because I'm making egg loaf. So I'll need lots of eggs for that because both of these are pretty much empty. And I have some Zevia, but all my stores have been out of Zevia. So we'll see if I can find some. But I think that is it. So what do I got in here? Oh, I have lots of peppers. So we won't be getting any of those. Um, Two avocados, so I'll be getting more of those. I have one little old head of romaine, so I'll need to get more of romaine. So there you go, guys. 
this is what I am working with. So my grocery haul should not be too big, but we will see because you guys know how I roll. Sometimes I just find a deal and I have to grab it. Walmart, I did have to go to Safeway to get a couple of things, um, but it was mostly sodas uh, for my husband. And then I picked up a couple things of produce, but other than that, it's all Walmart. And I did go to Marshall's to get some home decor stuff and I found some syrups. So I will show you those. The home decor stuff I will show you in one of my vlogs. I won't show in um, this video. Okay, I did pick up some of the Mission. They were out of the Ole Extreme. I prefer those because I know they don't kick me out of ketosis. These ones can sometimes and sometimes not. It's super weird. I think it maybe depend on what I'm having with them. But I wanna try that thing I've seen on TikTok where they take these, put the cream cheese on there and everything but the bagel, roll them up and then saute them in some butter. I really wanna try that. And I feel like they would be better with these ones anyway. But these ones are four net carbs. Just be careful because like I said, these, I know quite a few people who these kick out of ketosis. Picked up some pork rinds because I was almost out. And then produce and produce area. I kind of put these in the produce because I find this in the produce area. I like to have this mild queso blanco with my pork rinds. It is so good with pork rinds, y'all. So good. Plus we were having taco salads for dinner one night. So this is really good on taco salads. I just put it in the microwave for just like 20 seconds till it's a little bit um, you know, nice and creamy. And then I just pour it on my pork rinds or just pour it on my salad. So good. I've been loving blue cheese. Oh, I forgot something. I needed to get some white wine vinegar because I'm almost out. I've been loving a salad with blue cheese, avocado, lots of romaine lettuce, and then my homemade white wine vinaigrette. I think I have enough white wine vinaigrette to make one more batch. So hopefully I do because I've been loving that. Um, mild guacamole. My husband likes this on his taco salads. And so I will got that for him. The pico de gallo. I love this on taco salads. I'm doing a bruschetta chicken, so I needed some tomatoes for that. And also to go along with that, I needed some basil. So I picked up some basil to go along with that bruschetta chicken and I will record that for you guys. I like to have microgreens with, or sprouts one or the other. They had both and so I picked these up because I like to have that on my like avocado egg toast and it is so good. I haven't had them forever. So these are really good. Here's, oh, it's not very, Kind of blurry there, there we go. So there is all the effects on those. And then I picked up some avocados and then a purple onion for the bruschetta and then for whatever else. I picked up more of the, okay, I think somebody told me is chayote squash and I picked up four of them. That was absolutely amazing to use these in place of apple and the apple crisp. So I wanted to pick those up because I'm thinking about maybe some apple muffins is what I am thinking, um, some like apple spice muffins. So I'm gonna try them out in there. We'll just see how it works out, but I will share those with you when I, when I figure out the recipe. Two things of romaine. I have been loving romaine because of that crunch. I've been just loving romaine salads. So I picked up two of those. Cucumbers for snacking. You guys know I love the cucumbers with the um, everything but the bagel and the cream cheese. Onions for my salads. Um, they had a, these were buy one get one free at Safeway. So I picked up a big thing of strawberries and blueberries Just been really craving the fruit lately Got some bacon um, I got some lunch meat um, Mainly this is for everybody else too, but um, I have sometimes every once in a while just for a quick lunch I will just wrap this around some cheese. I Love these things and I had two in my refrigerator. I noticed when I was um, Filming that little clip for you guys about what was in my refrigerator drank one this morning And I just forgot how much I absolutely love them So I just picked up a couple of these for more busy mornings when I don't have time to make breakfast And I can just grab that I picked up another thing of my Walmart now is carrying these organic Happy eggs, so check your Walmart. My Walmart never carried happy eggs before and definitely I can never in the entire, ever anywhere in town had the organic free range ones. You guys know happy eggs are my favorite. I do prefer these to the Vital Farms. I know that's kind of an unpopular opinion, but I think the happy eggs are better. So I picked up another thing of those. We are having breakfast for dinner one week, one day this week and I'm gonna be doing an egg loaf French toast. So I need a lot of eggs for that. So I, that's why I picked up another one. We have, I have a full thing of eggs also in the refrigerator. Half and half, this is for coffee, mainly for my son. I do use it every once in a while. Again, mainly for my son, the sugar-free whipped heavy cream, but I do like to have this on my chai, my dirty chai lattes, and it's really good, a little treat. And this also got Safeway, because my Walmart does not carry any Cliffia Farms um, products at all, so I picked this up at Safeway, but this is my favorite for my smoothies, and I have not been having my smoothies lately, and I've been missing them. 
Picked up another thing of cheese just to have it on hand. No, I still have not got my breakfast bar in here that has all of my appliances. I have got to work on that. We, I, if you guys did not watch my life update video went up this morning, things have just been kind of put on hold with a lot of things right now because we're just trying to work a lot of things out. So um, I am in the process of trying to get all that done. I was out of cheese sticks, only had a couple left and these have been a great snack lately. The only meat I need to get, if you watched that little clip, you saw I have a ton of chicken, so I do need to stock up on the red meat. So I like to have, usually I do these on the weekends. I just do like cook these in my air fryer, have a couple beef patties or something for lunch or dinner. For the breakfast for dinner, picked up some sausage. Uh, for the taco salads, I'm gonna do this. I made, for my taco salads, I may do that taco meat that I have in my freezer, the, what is it? The taco seasoned ground sausage. I may do that but I have this also, and then the family is having terracotta casserole one night, so I need that. We are having beef chuck, chuck pot roast. I'll be putting this in my crock pot. Have not had roast beef in forever, and I've just been craving it so much, so one night we'll be having that for dinner. This is really exciting for one of these things. So my Walmart has never, ever carried Lily's before. I always picked up the baked Believe chips. That's were what they had there, which I love. So I have some dark chocolate. I have been making nut clusters. So you just do the, you just melt this down with a little bit of coconut oil, put it over some, any kind of nuts that you want and then put them in the freezer, freeze up and then store them in the fridge. So good. I have been loving them. So I, I needed some more dark chocolate. Plus I'm working on a recipe. So actually these are mainly for the recipe I'm working on. And I will show you that in a second, but look, they have lilies now. So they have all the new flavors. They didn't even have regular lilies. They only had the specialty flavors. So I'm gonna use some of these to make some of those nut clusters. Um, we have the chocolate salted caramel, chocolate mint, and butterscotch. So check your Walmart, even if they've never carried lil lilies before like mine, maybe they have them now. But I'm gonna do nut clusters. I'm gonna do separate ones. I'm not gonna mix any of these together, but I'm gonna do a batch of butterscotch, a batch of chocolate mint, and a batch of salted caramel. And I'm gonna do like multi-nuts on those. For my taco salads, I picked up some of the protein chips. The chili lime is my favorite. I was completely out of peanut butter and I do like to put a little blob of peanut butter sometimes in those nut clusters. So I picked up two of the peanut butter plus my son uses these in his smoothie. Here is the sugar-free chai tea. I have been having like at least three times a week. I've been making myself a dirty ice dirty chai and I've been putting in pumpkin syrup in there. So good. And speaking of pumpkin, so I'm working on a pumpkin recipe. I want to do like some pumpkin chocolate chip cookies. So that's why I picked up the dark chocolate. So I'm going to play around with that. Plus I want to kind of play around with maybe recreating the Starbucks pumpkin sauce that they use for their cold brew. So I'm going to play around with that. So I picked up a couple things of pumpkin and yes, pumpkin is a little bit higher in carbs. So it's just what you want to choose to put in your body. Remember keto is a metabolical state in your body. It's not an actual food. It's what your body can handle. So I will be making some stuff and then maybe testing my ketones and seeing how my body handles pumpkin. But you know what? I know if I'd use the sugar-free stuff, almond flour, coconut flour, that kind of thing, at least I'm putting anything I'm putting in my body. I know what's there and it's whole food. So I'm not too worried about it. It's just a treat to have. And then Marshall's, these were actually the only syrups they had. They did not have any of the, they had raspberry, which I already have, and they had the hibiscus, which I have two of those because that's my favorite, favorite fruit flavor syrup the skinny syrup has is the hibiscus something. Um, but that's the only syrups they had besides they had a bunch of the mocha. This was the only salted caramel and the only vanilla beans. So these ones are the keto syrups, which I have not bought because they're a little bit more expensive. And for me, like it's just not worth it. But these were $4.99. What makes these the keto ones is that they have MCT in them, but they're still zero carbs, zero sugar. So this one is vanilla bean, which I love vanilla bean. X Vanilla bean is my favorite ice cream of all time. Not vanilla, not French vanilla, but vanilla bean. Tastes different, believe me. But I don't, there's no vanilla bean keto ice cream, so it's not, not that I can find. And then I picked up mocha and then salted caramel. Well, that is everything. Let me get this put away and then I will give you a shot of the refrigerator and I will probably put that right up here somewhere. Here is the after. I haven't stocked up. These are my husband's sodas. These are my sodas. So I still did not find an easy via but I did get some Diet Pepsi. So I'll put those up there. But I have a nice full refrigerator. Oh my 
nice and full. And I have all my stuff over here. And thank you guys so, so much for taking time out of your day to watch my video. Stay tuned this week for how I put all this stuff together. I'll be doing my usual what I eat vlogs and then hopefully we'll, we will have a dinner video this week and I will see you guys then. Have a great day. Bye guys.